you will typically smell the facility before you actually walk near the cages. If they're not required to have heat, they don't have heat. They're never taken for walks. That can be expensive and that would cut into their profits. I know it's going to be a bad situation when you have the above ground wire bottom cages because the person is trying to be very efficient. This is a business. People are in it for profit. The sad thing is it's illegal. They're allowed to do this to these dogs. We had one of the worst states for puppy mills, and that was primarily because our number one industry is agriculture. They view these animals as cash crops, uh, as agricultural products. I don't know much about the dogs. <laughs> they're not real dogs, they're livestock. So there has been a tremendous amount of organized opposition to efforts to increase the standards of care. And most of that opposition, quite frankly, is coming from huge agricultural groups and industries. These are groups that have nothing to do with dogs. They get loads of campaign cash from these agribusiness groups because that's the funnel for the legislation that these agribusiness groups want. All you have to do is look at who's funding these funk groups to see who's really benefiting from them. They weren't enforcing it because they knew the kennels weren't compliant. That was a sign that there was way too cozy of a relationship. They are extremely powerful, they influence our legislature, they influence our local communities through their economic might. We need good inspection, we need vigilant enforcement. For those who are really abusing these animals, I don't have any sympathy at all. They say they're the dog's best friend. This is no way to behave if this is your best friend. God help those poor dogs if that's their best friend. These are elected officials and they work for us and we're going to make sure they work for us. I never lost sight of the fact that the people have the power to change things. I will use my voice because they don't have one. And I will keep doing it until there are no more puppy mill dogs. And what we have as a movement is a million households who care about animals and who are willing to pick up the phone. And being able to tap that power, that is what should make any puppy miller terrified. Okay, and I mean, if they come after me, let them come after me. I don't, I don't fear them anymore.